pro-China communists are working to mobilize 40 million new voters against the president. Donald Trump. Now, President Donald Trump and the Republican Party had better be ready for a tsunami of new Democratic voters coming their way in 2020. Far from the easy victory, many pundits are predicting there's a strong chance that the President and his party, strong economy notwithstanding, may be overwhelmed by an unexpected wave of new voters coming mainly from the South and the Southwest. Now, the same pro-China communist-led organizations that almost won gubernatorial races in Florida and Georgia in 2018 have almost turned once-reliably Republican Virginia blue, are aiming to mobilize a staggering 40 million new voters against President Donald Trump. Now, if this network can mobilize just, say, 20% of the new voters they are targeting, Trump will be a one-term president. Now, Donald Trump Jr., he made a recent prediction that the 2020 election will be a battle between freedom and communism. And we actually hope this proves horribly inaccurate. But you know, America is falling closer and closer to socialism, and they do not know that a lot of what they are voting for, including the Green New Deal and many other policies, are actually communist and socialist in nature. Stick with the Epoch Times during the 2020 elections. I know a lot of you are already very educated. You know about these dangers. But let me tell you, a lot of Americans, especially those voting on the Democratic side, are not aware that a lot of the Democratic policies are communist in nature. So while most commentators are focused focusing on Midwest battleground states. The American far left is looking now further south, which is interesting. Now, the Freedom Road Socialist Organization, that's the FRSO, and its allies are looking to the millions of black, Latino, and low-income white potential voters in the South and Southwest who lean heavily Democrat, but traditionally vote in low numbers. Now, the Freedom Road Socialist Organization can mobilize several million new Democratic voters in North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Texas, and Arizona over the next 18 months. That's what they aim to do. Now, Trump will find victory extremely difficult, even if he makes some gains in northern and midwestern and western states. Now, Florida, North Carolina, and Arizona are all extremely vulnerable. Georgia isn't far behind, and even Texas, my favorite state, is in play. Now, if the communists can flip Florida and Arizona for the Democrats, Trump most certainly loses. If Georgia and North Carolina turn blue, Texas is not even needed. If Texas goes blue, the Democrat Communist Alliance rules the United States forever. We cannot allow that to happen. So the Freedom Road Socialist Organization and its allies have enough people and resources to make possible their plan to mobilize 40 million new voters against President Trump, as I just said. Now, their leadership of the State Power Caucus and their control of 22 voter registration organizations in 15 states is no small army. Add to that the massive funding from the Democracy Alliance, labor unions and leftist foundations and possible ongoing informational support from China. It's clear that President Trump has some serious under the radar opposition coming from the Freedom Road Socialist Organization and the state power caucus. Now the outcome of the next election will either set the United States on a new upward spiral of freedom and prosperity or it could send the United States and the West into a nearly unstoppable downward spiral into socialism and tyranny. Let's look at history here. In World War II, the battle for civilization was decided in the battles of the Coral Sea, Midway Island, Normandy and the Bulge. The looming battle for civilization may well be fought in the ballot boxes of Arizona, Florida, and North Carolina. If you would like to know more about the American communist movement in relation to the 2020 elections, plus who is one of the most influential unknown political operatives in the United States today, please click on the link in the description. It will take you to the Epoch Times website where you can view Trevor Loudon's article in full. It's really in-depth and it dwells deep into these organizations and it's really important to know what they're doing and why they're doing it. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for watching our show. We are very grateful. We do read your comments and it's really fascinating because a lot of you do deep research into politics. So just reading the comments really complements uh, the, the content that we create here and 
I, I do hope that you can get onto the Epoch Times website as soon as possible and make it at least one of your stops on the political map. So what I do is I check the Epoch Times website daily. Uh, there is probably three or four sections I visit. First, I always check featured because that's the section where the chief editor kind of picks the best articles. I always read all those. And then I'll go into the political tab. And that's always good. And then I'll always go into the opinion tab because I'm always fascinated to know what our opinion writers have to say and actually a lot of our content presented on Declassified is opinion pieces. So if you would like even more clean, factual politics, you will find that under the political tab on the Epoch Times website. So from all of us here, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again very soon.